Hi and welcome. Today I have taken over this channel. Forget about KB. I'm just kidding. It is still me. You don't trust me? Hear this out. Right now I just sound like Japanese anime girl. That's all. This thing actually works flawlessly as I have tested this. This is so far the best voice changer that I have used. This is the thing that I'm using to change my voice. This is called Voice Changer. And it is a open source project at GitHub by W. Okada Voice Changer. And you can get this program for Mac and Windows. And this is also based on another popular project retrieval based voice conversation web UI or just RVC project. This is an advanced project. Uh, with this, you can train a voice model and you can sound like anybody. Like, I mean, anybody. Any singer, actor. You just need some sample audios or you can download a pre-trained models of different people's voices. And you can transform your voice to something else or whoever you want to sound like like eminem snoop dog <laughs> you know what i'm trying to say here this is really cool but this thing the voice changer by w okada is way cooler than rvc because it works in real time it takes the direct input from your microphone and outputs from the output device like the speaker or you can just record yourself so this is I mean, as I said again, by far the best voice changer that I have used. Using this is also really simple. They even have a tutorial, which is really short and simple. You just install it and open the voice changer client and then boom, you're ready. So basically this is the thing where you can do everything. You can choose a voice model, you can choose your microphone input and output and you can also record your changed voice and uh, yeah it's pretty simple i don't even have to explain you guys anything but if you are someone who needs a full tutorial on how to set this up and how to do the right settings and everything then please do the comment and i'll do a full tutorial on how to use this voice changer all right it comes with three voice models these are all anime characters voice models uh, two of them are girl and two of them are boys and i have downloaded one model which is the andrew tate's model actually let me give you guys a demo are you ready for this i am totally not a andrew tate but i sound like andrew tate isn't that amazing i don't know what to say this thing just works amazingly and it works in real time like you are talking you don't have to record your voice for nothing like that and it just works now let me show you guys some basic settings that you should know when you use this first we have a start and stop button which will actually start the voice changer and then we have gain in and out you can leave that default you don't have to touch it unless the gain in is zero you have to crank it up to 10 and second option tune this is really important because let's say i'm using a girl model by default tune is set to zero i'm a boy and i want to change my voice to girl then i have to tune it further like i have to increase the tune to around 10 to 15 in between that uh, I like to set it 11, 12 and 13. Now, if you're a male and you want to change your voice to another male, like for example, I'm using a Andrew Tate voice model. I don't have to tune it because it's going from male to male. Unless if you have really weird voice, like sharp type of voice. If you want to change your voice from female to male, then you have to go negative. If you're going female to female leave it to zero if you're going male to female increase it if you're going female to male then decrease the tune value and another thing if you have a really noisy microphone then you can use these options here suppress one which says sup and suppress two 
And if you have echo in your room or echo in your mic, then you can also use the echo option, which will decrease the background noise. And trust me, it will make you sound way better without the background noise. And you can also set the quality, which it says chunks, which is basically like the audio quality you're getting. So 320 or 384, these are like really high quality or mid high quality uh, audio samples, audio bit rates. If you set lower audio quality, it will sound bad. If you set it to higher, it might take more power from your GPU or maybe there will be more delay. If you set it in between 320, 256 to like 384, you'll be good. And uh, another most important part is audio where you select the input device. In my case, it's my Yeti stereo microphone and output device. Basically, you'll be able to hear yourself as you speak uh, if you select the output device. If you don't want to hear yourself, like let's say it feels weird and you just want to, you know, just record without interrupting your ears, <laughs> then you can go with the none and this thing will still work. And there is a rec option, which is basically a record. You can just click on start and it will start recording as long as you want. Once you're done, you can click on stop button and it will ask you to save that audio as a WAV file. This thing is actually really cool if you want to change your voice to someone else or you just want to do some voiceover with different voice. Amazing. If you click on edit button, you can also add more voice models. Uh, you just click on upload and then select the voice model type. Uh, I think RVC is the most popular voice model and also you'll get lots of voice models based on RVC. So select RVC and select the file. You can see I have the Andrew Tate model here. You can download the voice models from the internet. You just have to type on Google RVC voice models download and you'll find a bunch of websites providing these models. For now, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care, self and have fun. Bye-bye.